up? It's your boy Evan Hollywood. We're back on the IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Good night. Shout out to our sponsor. In case you didn't know, that's icydk.blog. icydk.blog. Check them out. All right, we're going to get into some things here. Um, we're going to first start it off. Interesting topics. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you share this with your friends as well. And hit the notification bell. Ricky Martin, living the Vida Loca. He's living the Vida Loca, all right. Shortly after nine allegations made against him, um, a domestic violence restraining order that was that he filed in Puerto Rico. Ricky Martin. It has been revealed, and he could be, has been reversed, and this man could be getting up to 50 years in jail. It was revealed that he was carrying on a relationship with his nephew. What is wrong with this man? Now, of course, we have to say this is all alleged, but it's saying here, uh, I'm getting to this article. Ricky Martin's alleged domestic violence accuses one of his own family members, and now the pop stars reportedly staring down the possibility of a half a century behind bars. A new report Friday from Spanish news website Marca identifies Ricky's accuser as his 21-year-old nephew, Dennis Yadel Sanchez, which would introduce incest into the case in Puerto Rico. The singer's brother, Eric Martin, reportedly identified the alleged victim, and Ricky is going to court July 21st. Under Puerto Rican law, there are harsher penalties for certain sexual crimes when the alleged victim is related to be accused, but it is unclear exactly what Martin is facing. Nevertheless, Marka is reporting that Martin faces up to 50 years behind bars if convicted. Now, as early reported, Ricky was accused of domestic violence early this month, and the alleged victim, whose identity was previously unknown, got a temporary restraining order against Ricky, who has denied the allegations. Now Mark is reporting that the nephew allegedly ended a seven-month relationship with Ricky. Ricky allegedly did not take it well, continuing to contact his nephew and showing up at the nephew's home. And Ricky Martin's lawyers is calling BS, and he's calling BS. The 550 Ricky Martin's attorney, Martin Singer. Shout out to Marty. Tell TMZ, unfortunately, the person who made this claim is struggling with a deep mental health challenges. Ricky Martin has, of course, never been and would never be involved in any kind of sexual or romantic relationship with his nephew. Rick's, F, Rick's rep added, the idea is not only untrue, it is disgusting. We all hope that this man gets the help he urgently needs. But most of all, we look forward to this awful case being dismissed as soon as the judge gets to look at the facts. Now... Would I be shocked if Ricky Martin did this or if anyone in Hollywood did this? No, I wouldn't be shocked. Um, at this point, you don't, really don't know what to believe. We don't have a lot of, uh, you know, facts on it. But we'll see how it plays out. If, if he is convicted, we, you know, we'll look at the facts that comes in and the evidence that comes in. If he's convicted... 50 years in jail. He will be living the Rita Loca. One to Cardi B and Tasha K. And it looks as though Tasha K has lost her appeal. The Georgia Circuit Court ruled that wannabe journalist Tasha K. <laughs> tell us the Cardi page. Has lost her appeal against Cardi B and is ordered to pay the full $3.8 million in punitive damage and lawyer fees if she continues to dodge payments, liens could potentially be placed on property. I did check that out, and that is absolutely true. Cardi B, but before, she could not place a lien on, on houses or seized property while Tasha K was filing an appeal. But now that the judge has said your appeal is BS, now... Cardi B can go after the property. And that's probably why Tasha K is trying to move the property in th that she has into her husband's name. Too late. Too late, Luthor. Too late. 
because your husband is also on the lawsuit too. <laughs> you see, here's the thing. And there's some people going around saying, oh, Cardi B don't need the money. They feel bad for Tasha K. Well, hold, on, hold on now. Cardi B should just let it go. If, if Tasha K won, would she let it go? Absolutely not. And Cardi B attempted to let it go two years ago. She gave Tasha K ample opportunities. She said, just take it down. And we'll end it. She pretty much gave her ass a kiss. She sent her a cease and desist. Tasha K again gave her ass a kiss. I wiped my ass with a cease and desist. And then a third time, Cardi, who did not have to do it, humbled herself and called Tasha K and said, we are mothers. You're a mother. I'm a mother. Let's stop this. Let's come to, can we please come to some sort of settlement agreement? I ain't never gonna sell. I don't care. One thing I ain't never gonna do. I'll never sell. Wink. Tasha K has lost her appeal. Teddy, can you believe it? Where Teddy go? Teddy, where the fuck you going? Teddy unpacked his bag. Ain't this about a bitch? Where you going with that wine? You believe this old little furry motherfucker pack, pack, and taking a bottle of wine with him? Teddy. Teddy, answer me. Why you got that Cardi B CD in your pouch? This about a bitch. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Teddy gone. <laughs> You'll be looking for Teddy and everybody else. They're going to be on turn their back on you, Tots, okay? You should have just took the videos down. That's all. If you would have took the videos down, this wouldn't be happening. But you see, this is what the new media, and I go back to Draymond Green. This is what he means by new media. A part of the new media also means you YouTube uh, content creators and you bloggers better watch your effing mouth. Watch your man. You should watch your mouth. <laughs> you better watch your mouth because bitches is pressed. You're going to have to administer mouth to mouth to you. Once you faint, when you hear all that money, you're going to be paying these celebrities. <laughs> Keep on thinking that, that you could just get away with saying anything. That isn't true for clicks and views. You better make sure. You better make sure. And, and this is me when I say allegedly. And when I say my sources. Trust and believe, and this goes out to any of my sources that tell me these things, the source, the people that I get the source from. If it ever comes down to court, oh, I'm going to be singing like David Ruffin. Nights like this, I wish John didn't tell me this. John Singer, by the way. Nights like this. <laughs> If it comes down to, to me or you, I, I'm going to reveal who my source is to, to the court. Sorry, let's, just to let you know. So if y'all saying sources and they pull y'all in and you get involved in the lawsuit, you better be ready to tell who your source is. See? I'm telling you, man, Cardi B done set a precedent. Now Iggy Azalea said, you know what? I'm suing. I'm a sue. Tasha K, you, you're going to keep running off at the mouth. People saying they feel sorry for her. Why? She still run off at the mouth. Shouldn't feel sorry for her. Shout out to Cardi B. NBA, never broke again, young boy. 
He was found not guilty today. And this is him going into the court. Look at the fans that follow him to the court. This makes me start thinking. Is NBA young boy the biggest rapper in the world? He's quietly got the numbers to back it. I believe he is now, if he hasn't passed Drake and the most streamed uh, rapper in 2022, he's right there. I think Drake was only a million ahead of him. I think Drake was like 1.3 billion or 1.4 billion. Young boys, 1.3 billion. And we had lawyers for worker down there. Lawyers for workers. He has to be getting paid by somebody. There's no, he said, oh, he's not getting paid. He goes on there for free. So who do you know is going to take off for a couple of weeks and go cover a case he's not getting paid for? He's getting paid somehow, some way. Because he just be going too hard for these rappers. Oh, Mo from Lawyers for Workers, boy, he won. He, he loved them rappers. He was even rooting for 6 9 Let's see if you keep that same energy with Tory. <laughs> Probably will. I mean, same issue with Megan. He probably won't root for Megan. He's going to root for Tory. He root for all the male rappers. So, lawyer for workers, he getting paid by somebody. He has to be. Has all this access and they will come back and tell what's happening in a private courtroom. He got to have somebody backing him. But NBA young boy, when you look at where the comments, this dude has, I think they said 22 studio albums. How old is this guy? He's almost got as many albums as as his age. <laughs> He's got 22 studio albums. He can't be too much older than 22, 23. I don't really know how, how old he is. But look at his numbers that he's been putting up. The amount of entries on the Hot 100. You wouldn't think it was that many. Look, look at him up. Now, look how happy lawyer for workers is. <laughs> He's more as more happy, happy than the young boy showed. So if so, if you're not getting paid, why are you that ecstatic that young boy got got off, got not guilty? <laughs> lawyer for workers, y'all better watch him. There's no way somebody have all this access to these to these cases that aren't even allowing me to end. But well, shout out to NBA Youngboy. And I want to know, is NBA Youngboy really the biggest rapper? Man, this dude's numbers are crazy. Now, I'm not into NBA Youngboy. But they're going to make me check out the hype. Make me check out what the heck is, what's the hype? I know I heard a couple songs by him. I, really, I don't really understand what he's saying. But he really has a cult following. And now people are talking like he's going over to more like the emo type crowd. He has a cult following though, man. And, you know, he, he puts his, his videos out and, you know, there, there, there are a million views before you can, you know, before 12 hours most of the time. So shout out to NBA Youngboy. We're going to find out. Low, let me know. Is NBA Youngboy the number one rapper? Is he bigger than Drake right now? Is he higher than Drake? Let me know in the comments. Not guilty. NBA young boy. Shout out to that young black man. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.